Uh, I have a bunch throughout the house, but my son's upstairs gaming and he's live streaming and whenever he starts that, like I I get, I get the, the crumbs, (laughs) the crumbs of the internet, but yeah, but you've been been live streaming nonstop. Yeah, I've done a few for my own channel. I do a few for other brands as well. Um, I think it's just a great way to engage with the community. Uh, it's, it's obviously quicker and easier than producing a full edited video, as you know. And you do a I just lot think of... it's nice. I just think it's nice for people to know that you're a real human and you want to engage with, you know, with other hobbyists. Yeah, yeah. I think that uh, it's it's definitely important, especially long form conversations, because I do think that, uh, and I've spoke with, and I'm sure, well, George as well. He's traveled just as much as me. You'll meet YouTubers, and you're like. You're much better ten minutes edited than having a long form conversation. There's not a whole lot there to talk about with you. Yeah. So, you know, um, it, it's 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 always good to have some uh, conversation with some, an intellect with that. But you do mention that your 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 current uh, you guys got married. She she's is incredibly supportive. Uh, but you 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 have mentioned to me in the past that, and mm. I've said it in one of my podcasts that I dealt with. Uh, my past wife being mm. incredibly unsupportive and yeah. you had that in common as well what happened there yeah the so thing? yeah pretty much i mean it's, it's a really long and, and and deep story um but yeah I, I married my ex-wife i was in the royal air force at the time and you know i i became really obsessed with aquascaping yeah i mean i was balls deep you know i was just so super focused obsessive just a sponge and all my spare time was spent you know on the hobby and not kind of giving my ex-wife any attention um and that kind of i thought it's kind of suited us because when i think back we didn't actually really get on uh and and she had she had horses and you know i was kind of side hustling so i was in the air force full time but i was writing for magazines and i was doing workshops i was doing kind of side gigs and that extra pay would pay for her horses so it kind of seemed like a you know, an amicable thing. But she, every time I go on the computer, every time I'd, I'd, I'd be on the forums, this was before Facebook, Instagram, before social media, you know, the old school message boards and forums. I'd be on there I, and I'd be given advice. I, you know, I was a moderator on five forums. I co-founded the UK Quack Plant Society and I was super busy on there. And it was just, she just resented it. You know, and we, we had a house, we had three, four beautiful aquariums in the home. And, and every time I'd do a water change, she'd be like tutting or if any time I spilt water, she'd be like really yeah. pissed off. And then, um, but the ironic thing was when, whenever we had guests round, she'd be like, oh yeah, look at our beautiful fish tanks. This is what George creates, you know, and blah, blah, blah. So she'd yeah, be like, so proud. Know, yeah, convenient exactly. Convenient for her now. Yeah, conveniently yeah. proud. Uh, yeah, Mine would do the then, same thing. Sometimes she, she was, she'd make, she made fun of me up until I was undeniably successful. Yeah. I started um, becoming more and more popular and she didn't even care about that. It's when I started making some money, the money, then yeah. all of a sudden, yeah, then all of a sudden, oh, I'm so proud of you. No, you're not. You hated this. And mm-hmm. the yeah. biggest reason I do this is to get away from you yeah. and spend time with my fish tanks. And a lot of people are like that. But do you find like you spent most of your time uh, and a lot of your time with Aquarius because you have a past uh, in the military? And you know, maybe has a PTSD. And yeah. A way to. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's it's no secret that I I do suffer from PTSD. You know, I had some really traumatic experiences. I was in bomb disposal in the air force. I was attached to, to an army regiment in uh, in Afghanistan in Helmand province, which is super sketchy. You know, um, and yeah, I experienced some really horrific stuff, uh, including getting blown up in a roadside bomb and, and some other stuff, which I won't talk about right now. Um, and yeah, that that left me pretty traumatized you know nightmares uh every time i hear a loud noise now i i, I want to jump on the floor and you know I'm, I'm super scared it's getting a little bit better mm-hmm. but um i just found um whenever whenever i was feeling a little bit kind of uh uneasy or a little bit challenged or just not feeling great i would just I would just do something with the aquarium, whether it's just a water change or, or creating a new yeah. scape, or it's just something yep. that takes your mind away. Uh, and actually, you're you're actually doing something positive to change something. So mm-hmm. rather than it, it's, it's even beyond sitting and enjoying an aquarium, it's actually you know, the simple act of like cleaning your aquarium glass or doing a water change. You know, you are 
you're creating a better environment for, for the inhabitants of that aquarium. And that gives you a sense of purpose that goes beyond you. It's, it's what you're doing is bigger than your, your own kind of headspace. And it just mm -hmm. takes you out of that kind of, um, that kind of, uh, poor mental state. And you can actually feel the positivity. And so what I always say to people that are struggling with depression or anxiety or kind of any kind of mental health issue, they keep an aquarium. The, the, the kind of last thing you want to do maybe is because you're feeling so low and low on energy and low on motivation. The last thing you probably want to do is a water change. But actually, if you just force yourself to do it, you yeah. just feel so much better afterwards. And then that leads and then that's just like the positive, you know, and stay off the positive. Internet with your stay off the Internet with your fish tank. Because you're going to post pictures yeah. and somebody's going to pick it apart. Yeah. yeah. You don't know what kind of day that person's having uh -huh. or what type of mental issues they have, et cetera. Yeah, the exactly. thing that I found, and it'll be interesting to get your take on this, but the, what I have found is uh, I was obsessed with aquariums as well. I went, I was balls deep. There's anything, any word that came out of my mouth had to be related to fish tanks. I mean, mm -hmm. as soon as I discovered my local club and people just like me and they didn't care about my past or who I was and I could reinvent myself and um, everything was just awesome and then i found the community on youtube and started growing and then you know i had the inclination like man what if i got to do this full time so then you know start making money start uh being more business related and then you have all this attention on you and then the pressure starts yeah mm. and it's like did i make the right choice is this mm. truly what i want to do on the contrary i'll never be as talented as this and anything else in the rest of my life or lifetime so i definitely have to take advantage of it but